everyone. Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. This is Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a very special Long Arm Wednesday because we're quilting up our Christmas quilt, the one we spent 12 whole weeks making on weekend projects. So here we go. I've got a nice panto for the top because I, I wanted to make sure, you know, incorporate the only thing that's missing from this quilt is good old Santa Claus. So St. Nick's gonna stitch out on the top and the side borders, and then I'm going to quilt the inside. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna film the, the top. Hopefully it won't take too long. He's very intricate, Mr. St. Nick's face, and uh, get to the other end. So let's, without any delay, let's get motoring. And I am using a variegated thread. It's got literally, I think, every color in the rainbow in it. Why not? Pull all this quilt together. It's got two Santa faces kind of facing each other and just a little bit askew. So we tried to make it fit within the, um, I think this was a seven inch border on the top and a five inch border on the side. So actually it would be six and a half and four and a half ish. Ish. <laughs> oh, okay, it's done the hat. Okay, it's, very, it's very, like I said, it's very intricate, so. But anyways, we've had a lot of fun working on this Christmas quilt. There's 12 blocks here designed by my sister-in-law, my husband, and myself. Not all blocks. I meant like there's a block of at least for each of each of us. Um, and uh, the rest of them I've gotten free from websites or um, just kits or something. Like anyways, it was a free. It was a free one so that we were all using and anybody could... Um, get to them. If you're interested in the, some of the ones that we've designed, let me know. I'll let you know how I came up with it and, and we'll go from there. So, like the angel one or the hearth one or this pine cone one here, or there's the one that's the bells and the holly ringing out the cheer, I think it was, or ringing, ringing the bells or something. I forgot what we named it. <laughs> ringing in the bells, I think it was. But all the other ones, just from free websites, some applique, some paper piecing, some half square triangles and big squares and some intricate sort of stuff with the penguin and the reindeer. It's been, it's been very fun. Let me tell you, I love doing these uh, blocks and putting all this whole quilt together and then going through the whole process. And I'm lucky enough to have a long arm so we can finish it all off. So. And it'll just hang here in the Mama Pop quilt shop for everyone to come and see. And we'll do one next year. And then this one will go like move to the back wall and the other one will be featured and we'll do something different. We were what, doing them all on our weekend project. So if you don't know about that yet, go check it out, weekend project. There's lots of good stuff there. We're gonna be doing a uh, Christmas stocking coming up. Very excited about that. And that's also a fee pattern from So So Easy. S-O-S-E-W, so, so easy. I think it's just done one, oh, not even quite done one Santa yet. There we go, it's just finishing off his little hairs on his chinny chin chin. <laughs> his beard. <laughs> All right, yeah, this is gonna take a little while. We can see him stitching out, I like it, because it gives, and the, the variegated gives him a bit of texture and and visibility with the busy pattern in the background here and on this I tried to put all the colors together it's got burgundy and red and tan and green and black and white and so kind of pretty much all that's within here and a nice pattern it's got uh, big trees uh, snowflakes the reindeer I don't think there's any other animal except for the reindeer no I think that's it and it was on sale at my local fabric land for, I think it was nine bucks a meter, nine dollars a meter. And then because it's uh, directional, I needed to make sure that I was, I didn't want to own my reindeer kind of going half half. So I needed to cut down my meters. I had two meters to give me my directional pieces on the side, right? So that's the key thing with directional fabric. You got to make sure you're doing it right. You don't want to do an, this way, you know, and even at the top is the same way and the bottom is the same way. It lays like it's supposed to, right? I mean, it's all up to you. It depends on how much fabric you got. That's the thing. That's the key, right? 
So the top is pieced in one section because it was wider than the width of the bolt. Uh, but the side pieces are just all one strip because I got that after it was enough. So, And of course that's for the sa fabric stash. <laughs> oh, it's almost done the second Santa. It's getting there. It's got such a cute little face. So that's really the only thing we thought was missing was good old St. Nick. So we put him on here. I think I might do 16 blocks next time, just because I think that would give a more fuller, fuller quilt, almost complete. It almost seemed like it was missing a row by the time I got to the third one done. I was like, well, that's four, eight, 12. It seems like enough, but you know what I mean? Just visually, it needed a bit more. That's why I put a nice big border on the top and a nice big border on the bottom. That's a good seven, in, seven inches. I mean, it could have had the sashing bigger, could have had a bigger going this way, maybe shorter going this way, you know, or done it three, three long and then four wide, you know, so three, six, nine, twelve. There's many choices. Or I could have done, you know, set these blocks into another block on point and then had another bigger from there, like a block and a block and then scored it all up. It would have been pretty cool. Well, it's working on the third one. This has been very exciting putting this together and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I've had a lot of fun and you know, mistakes and learning along the way. That's what we do here at the Mom Pop Quilt Shop. <laughs> learning all the time and always having fun. I did a bunch of um, Christmas stockings the other day, personalized Christmas stockings. I love personalized Christmas stockings. I think it's just so, so it's yours. It's never going to be mixed up with anybody else's and you know, it's just, it's yours. Either way you have a nickname on it or your own name or whatever, but uh, I really liked it. It made, made me feel good to be doing those stockings. It made me feel very Christmassy. So if you have stockings or you want a stocking personalized, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> and for the back, what did I do with my back fabric? I had one of my munchkins here yesterday and she really liked it. And I was like, wait a second, you can't have that. What did I do with it? I had a nice big chunk of it left over. Anyways, it's, oh, there it is. Because I thought it might make, make a nice few, um, few good stockings because there's like, uh, there, there was enough to make two, two big ones at least, right? So anyways, it's got uh, moose and, um, beavers and squirrels with little Canadian mittens and I don't know I just really loved it and it's green it pulls it all together this is also directional so when I put the backing on I cut it in half because I knew it was going to have more than what I needed for this because I was going to do maybe a couple table runners or something with some other Christmas fabric with the bottom and stuff so when I did it to put it on the long arm to prep it for the long arm I cut it in half and then flipped that other section and lined it up to make sure that, you know, those rain, the uh, moose were looking the same way and not one's going this way, one's going that way sort of thing. Yeah. You didn't have to match up the pattern, but just make sure they're not going, you know, this way and then that way on either side. You want them all the same. Because then you won't see that seam in the center as much if you try to make your stuff blend, right? That makes any sense at all. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> it's gonna like quilt faster. <laughs> I could speed it up, but I want to make sure all those little stitches are just as pretty and precise as they're supposed to be. Yeah, it comes all the way up to the top, the very, very top of this border here, and all the way down here, because that's the, like I said, they're a little off center from each other. So one hangs a little lower and one's up a little higher, but it does fill the nice, the border quite nicely. So we're looking for um, suggestions or ideas for another weekend project. If you guys got any, let me know. I'm willing to work on just about anything. Um, I have been thinking about making or recycling uh, ties into Dresden blocks, like maybe a big one or a couple small ones or something like that. I've got quite a few ties from uh, family members and my husband's mass collection and stuff we bought him for decades of dinosaurs and Simpsons and all sorts of weird things, <laughs> weird Christmas ones. So I thought about just making a nice big 
Dresden in the center, and then maybe with the other ends of the tie, like the um, small end of the tie, maybe doing ones up in the corner or something like that, or maybe half fans or a quarter fan or something like that. Just do a nice recycle stock. We'll figure it out. Got a couple of Christmas bags to make, so maybe that's what we'll do the weekend after that. Why not? Let me know. Feedback is good. It's all good. And you can also accent this with um, little, like for the tree here, if you had little buttons or a little string of those lights that you can actually sew on, even the ones that even light up, I think you can do that too, but there's actually little just little pebbles or little glass beads or plastic beads that look like lights. Go ahead, decorate it up. Since we're gonna be stitching all this down, cause I can't, you know, the long arm's gonna go a little crazy on this part. So I figured I'd just stitch it all. So, you know, this is your chance to be doing buttons and extra yarny bits. I'll have to be careful with Manny's arms here when we come over, because I don't want to be chopping off his arm. Be like, firewood. <laughs> you know, on the doors, put a little handle or maybe even do some yarn or cross stitching for, you know, windows or curtains or, you know, it's all up to you. All right, that's four Santas almost done. We have like a lot to go. 14. <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna film this all because this is gonna keep stitching out like crazy. But we will show you it in the end for sure. It's too bad we didn't have time to show a little bit of me sewing or me stitching. Thought maybe it was doing a boo-boo there, but it's not. It's making the puffy for his hat. Little poofy. You can really see him. He can blend straight in, but then if you really look, you go, oh yeah, that's Santa. Or Saint Nick. I think that's what they call him. Actually, no, it's called Santa Panto. Sorry. And this is one that we have recently purchased to do some Christmas stuff around here in the shop. There wasn't a lot on the software itself. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, snuck up on me. Yeah, we got a um, couple of stockings, some reindeers, uh, Santa, some holly. Mm, I put the reindeer, oh my gosh, it's so cute when it's stitched out. I put it on a uh, Christmas wall hanging for a girlfriend. She'd asked me if I would get one up for her and I said, sure, no problem. It must have been like nine or 10 reindeers all stitched out on this. I mean, them all different sizes just to fill it all in and stuff like that. It looked fantastic. And then from the backside, it was a whole other wall hanging because all you could see was the reindeers. So it was pretty cool. I really, really liked the way it came out and so did she, which that's what counts. Definitely. So we are gonna have some quilts that are gonna be for sale on our website. I'm just waiting to get a couple more finished cause I didn't just wanna put like two up there. So there are gonna be some Christmas wall hangings and some stockings and some table runners and some quilts. I got a couple of full quilts all done. There's a, um, a boy space one I'm working on right now. It's got a big space theme in the center panel and then I'm doing all sorts of blocks and with, Saturn and Pluto and all sorts of other little worlds around it. So, or little planets around it. But we'll let this Santa finish up and then we'll call it for today. It's almost done, he's so cute. I love the variegated. I was kind of humming and hawing at first. Hubby said, oh, try the variegated. And I'm like, yeah, you know, yeah, let's go for that. Why not? And it's even in the bobbin. Some people say, you know, why put variegated in the bobbin? Well, I like it, why not? It's gonna really pop on the back of this, on the screen. I think it'll stitch out like something even really cool, really cool, like a whole cloth sort of thing. <laughs> so I thank you all very, very much for watching Long Arm Wednesdays and Weekend Projects. We really appreciate it here at the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. And we're very much looking forward to Christmas. Not that we have any rest around here, no. I think last year I was actually quilting on Christmas Day. It was my own stuff, but I was quilting. Because <laughs> that's what I like to do. <laughs> Keeps me out of trouble.
Oh, okay, it's on to the next one. All right, so we'll cut it here because this, this is going to take like probably another half an hour, 40 minutes to stitch all the way out. And I'm sure you got your shopping and cookies to bake. <laughs> so thanks everyone for watching. And we will see you next time on Long Arm Wednesday and check out Weekend Project. Sockin's coming up. See you. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.